The world's strongest man reached the ripe old age of 30 in 2007, and it's a contest that has seen many changes in those three decades. Some things, though, remain constant. The seemingly superhuman feats of strength, the giant muscles, and the intensity of the contestants. <laughs> Charleston, West Virginia, venue for the 2008 final and home to Phil Pfister, the most successful American strongman since Bill Kasbon, and the only non-European to wrestle the crown for Marius Pujanovsky. Pfister became world's strongest man in 2006 in Saturn, China, in one of the most dramatic finals in the competition's history. You know, the 06 final really could not have been written any better. It was really just kind of a fairy tale contest for me. You know, Marius is a fantastic athlete. He's unbelievable. Um, and maybe I caught him napping just a bit, but I was definitely the best man in 06. Athletes sort of talk about the flow and talk about being in the zone. And, and when everything's going just right, you have these sort of out of body experiences as you're competing. After four straight event wins, Fister knew that victory in the Atlas Stones would give him the title. You know, it was just a little bit wet out, so I approached the first stone very cautiously. I didn't want to slip and fall. And kind of cool, calm, and collect because I knew that it didn't matter how fast you put up the first four. It only mattered how fast the last one went on the platform. So I could actually hear Marius' stones going in just a moment, just an instant before mine, at least on the first few. At least that's how I heard it, that's how I perceived it. And when I finally got to the fifth one and threw it up there and could see it was going in the hole and glanced over and Marius wasn't, didn't have his in the hole yet, then I knew that I'd won. That time is going to go, surely. Fister's got in front and he's edged it! The American long wait is over. After 24 years, America finally had the title back. The culmination of a decade of suffering. For somebody to actually be behind like he was and win five events in a row, it's amazing the power he drew on. I think it was truly destiny. It was some sort of divine intervention. You know, this, this is a terribly brutal sport. And, um, you know, to make it to the top one time is... It's just very gratifying, it's very validating. <laughs>